It's raining. The vibes are right. We're gonna play a game. Not mind games. Video games. Wow, I'm so funny. On YouTube, I like to watch reading vlogs. Like a lot of them. I had this crazy idea. Play games with me. Gaming vlog. Game with me vlog. We'll work on that. We'll work on that. In Miami, we say what ha happened was. What ha happened was. Last year, I bought a bunch of indie games because they were always on sale. And on TikTok, I would constantly check on the eShop to see what was on sale. So I ended up with a lot of indie games that I like played for five minutes and never played again. So the goal is to play all those fucking games. And since today is a rainy day, we're gonna play What Remains of Edith Finch. What Remains of Edith Finch. This is a two hour game. When I bought it originally, I thought it was a spooky game. I thought it was a scary game. But then I posted about it and people were like, oh, it's really sad. Like really sad. So let's get into it. Also, I'm addicted to this. I've been influenced. <laughs> the urge to drop everything and play Fortnite is insane. I'm addicted to Fortnite right now. We can't, we can't just keep playing Fortnite and listening to the tortured poets department. We need to beat the games that we bought because we spent money on them. But let's look up what this game is about first. I gotta be like Jim Carrey. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> so stupid. Okay, is it scary? Is the first question that came up and it says, no, it's not a horror game. Why, why do we all think that it's a horror game? I thought this was a horror game too. What Remains of Edith Finch is a collection of strange tales about a family in Washington state as Edith, you'll explore the colossal Finch house, searching for stories as she explores her family history and tries to figure out why she's the last one in her family left alive. Ultimately, it's a game about what it feels like to be humbled and astonished by the vast and unknowable world around us. It won awards in 2018. Ooh, I'm interested. I gotta wait till my Nintendo DS charges. Nintendo DS. <laughs> Got distracted, my phone died, and we're back. But I think I have successfully set the vibes. I hooked up the Nintendo Switch to the computer. We're gonna play right here on the big screen, baby. <laughs> Don't look at all the cables I have under there, but we gotta pull this out so we can get comfy. Feetsies are up. Oh God. Look at all the games I have to play. Ready? I've never opened this game. It just started raining again, so it totally fits the vibe. We're on a boat. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. I'm sorry. Why do I feel like something's gonna pop up? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. <laughs> I'm scared if I stare at it for too long. I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. I swallowed him up and I didn't chew one bit. And suddenly, I was a shark. moment to discuss because uh so far we've been in this little girl's brain molly and she's having these crazy dreams like we were a monster and we ate people molly are you okay i wonder if we're gonna be every single family member and they're gonna tell us like a little bit about each family member what the fuck <laughs> that's what we're doing and we're gonna like learn about each of them and like, I guess, snoop through their rooms. Molly's was unhinged. And if everything else is like that one, this is such a fun narrative game. Wife Ingeborg and their newborn son, Johan. On January 7th, 1937. <laughs> Not my dog throwing up right now. After a brief intermission and cleaning up the bed and all the puke later, I was hungry. <laughs> Ew! It's just chips, but we're back. Let's learn the history of the Finches. Odin brought the house with him overseas. He thought his family was cursed because terrible things kept happening to them. He thought that he could escape the curse by bringing the house like somewhere else. Every single person died in like a tragic way. Oh my God, what a fabulous bathroom. I just opened a trap door in the bathroom. 
Hold up. Walter was living in the basement in a bunker for 30 years. You can already imagine the sun. Oh, the saddest thing ever. She dropped the tea of the century she's pregnant 22 weeks why did you come back to a place that's cursed miss ma'am i'm obsessed that's the one i wish most that my mom had told me sam's story was so sad i want to cry so bad i think i have the feeling that i'm gonna cry like i feel it in my nose but i'm on zoloft so it blocks me from crying not divorce papers The one time that I finally freaking cry, my phone runs out of storage and I had to like go in and delete stuff while I was crying and it was a mess, whatever. At first it was like whimsical and you're like, oh, it's so cute. And then it's not. And then it just isn't. It's not. It was not fun anymore. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. It's really whimsical and like interesting. And the house has a lot of secret hiding spots and exploring the house is cool. Finding all the secret doors and stuff is like exciting, but it's so sad. <laughs> So on this side, I have to like move this little night dude around and like figure out what's happening. But on this side, I have to keep moving these fish out of the way. Jump scare, sorry. But yeah, I have to do both at the same time. I'm pretty sure I know where this is going and I'm already crying. Like my nose is already like... Okay, wait. Listen, it was a beautiful game for a dollar. Wow, what a masterpiece. What a story. <laughs> I chose to do this to myself. It was a rainy day. There was times when it was whimsical, and then there was times where I was like, this is hard. This is hard to get through, but... Bro, I got it for $1.99. It was so worth it. So worth a dollar. Like, even if I paid 20 bucks for this, like, it was so beautiful. This is your sign to play the games that you bought because you saw it on TikTok and stuff and you're, that are sitting in your Nintendo Switch. Go play them. I literally have no words to say. <laughs> There's an option to replay the game from the beginning, like to start over and play again. Who would do that to themselves? Why would you go through this twice? Okay. This is like that audio of a clockwork reader crying about a little life. Why would you write this? Why would you write this? I gotta go. And just like that, we have played one whole game. There's 15 games that I have bought that have like actual storylines that I have not beat or hit the credits. So we will be doing quite a few of these vlogs. And now we have comfort food. Yay. The game I played was really sad. It was as bad as the Iron Claw. The animation was super good. The soundtrack was super good. The stories were all so different, but man, was it fucking sad. <laughs> It was so sad. Stay beautiful. I love you. Hug your loved ones. Peace. Oh, yeah.